Well, it's, it's, it's Wales versus Portugal, Bale versus Ronaldo. This is mouthwatering. and this is what everyone wants. This is what everyone wanted to see. The big best players coming up against each other. It's always been Ronaldo versus Messi, which is the case because they're both the two best players on the planet. The stats tell you that. But Bale versus Ronaldo now, someone emerging to be one of the top level players. He's actually more similar to Ronaldo than, than Messi in the way they play, their, their stature, their size, their, their, how dynam dynamic they are. Um, even the wet positions really that they play, I prefer coming from the wide areas. And um, the power that they both possess in their physiques. If you were going to put a player into a computer and say, I want to, I want to generate a footballer to go out there and be the best specimen, one of these two's bodies will pop out after mine. Bow, as I said, he likes to get the ball from in deep areas. And when he gets the ball in deep areas, the whole team go, because you know what he's capable of. He can run the length of a pitch with a football past a few people and put it in the back of the net. So you've got to prepare yourself to make sure you get someone to him early to slow him down. Otherwise, if he gets up at speed, as I've seen personally, <laughs> there's a different type of way to stop in these players. Ronaldo, if he gets the ball on a halfway line, right now in today's game, different to when he was a kid, it would have been the same as Bale before. He gets the ball on a halfway line, he's got the potential to run the length of the pitch and, and beat her and score goals. Now he's not interested in doing that. He'll pop it off and make his way up the pitch. So we get to the final third where if he receives the ball, there's not a huge outlay of energy, but he's got explosiveness to get past you and get a shot off and invariably hits a target and it's a goal. So there's a difference, do you know what I mean? So you want to keep Bow as far away as possible. The same with Ronaldo, when he gets the ball, he's going to stay around the last third. If you, when he gets the ball, you've got to be close enough so he can't get his head up to get shots off. Sounds easy sitting here, difficult, I may add, when you're on the pitch. When you cross that white line, things happen to change the dynamics of a game and where people get the ball and how you can affect them. Difficult. Also, you've got Ronaldo, the leader. The captain wears the armband for Portugal. He leads in a different way. He leads in a, I am the man. I'm going to take you to that special place. And the players accept it. I'd accept it. If you've got someone like Ronaldo, Messi, them type of players in your team, if he wants to be on his own sometimes, they're taking penalties and stand, by, stand alone, or he wants to celebrate on his own, do that. If you're always scoring winning goals and you're getting us to where I want to go to win trophies, you can do that. And to me, it looks like the Portuguese team have accepted that. It's a fair play. Bow, on the other hand, Ashley Williams wears the armband. He's the leader. But the person who's a talisman, who they look to for that inspirational moments in the game to get them over the line is Bow. And he's in amongst it. He's in with them when they're celebrating, in the huddle. He's not coming out as, the, as, as a man on his own. He's in that team and he immerses himself in that team structure. So it's a difference, but respect both. This mouth watering. And the, the great thing about it, that both of them haven't yet really played well in this tournament. I think Bow has had one uh, decent game. He's done all right in all the games. He's scored important goals. And that's what he's been there to do. He's scored the important goals that's got them help getting through to this stage. Ronaldo, the first couple of games, shot shy, getting the chances, missing a lot of chances, but getting in them areas looked dangerous. But then all of a sudden the floodgates open, he bangs a couple. Beautiful back heel finish. And again, he's got an opportunity now to really drag his team through. But these two players are the players that their teams look to. They look at these players for inspiration. They look at them for the goals. They look at them to drag them through when it's not going too well. We, I saw a clip earlier on the social media where he's telling some of his teammates, get up, come and take penalties. Come on, you're good enough. It's in God's hands now. A leader, he's turning into that leader now, carrying his teammates. Bao looks to be someone who's going towards that. They've got Ashley Williams who is their leader, but Bao seems to be someone who likes that responsibility in a wild shirt. I want to see that next season in the Real Madrid shirt, that personality coming out, saying this is my stage, this is my arena. Can he do that with Ronaldo in the dressing room? Remains to be seen. But I can't wait for this game, man.